<laughs> These are the scenes that greeted many this long weekend at some of Canada's busiest airports. When we spoke to him, one young traveler in Montreal had been in line more than an hour and a half just to check in. It's not normal. It's not normal. And this woman had been stuck here for more than 20 hours because of a missed connection. There were no connecting flights, there were no hotel rooms. I've been in line until 4 a.m. to get another boarding pass. With Canada Day and school vacations colliding, it's a monster travel weekend. One putting extra strain on already overburdened airlines and airports dealing with major staffing issues, all leading to hundreds of flight cancellations or delays, baggage woes, and long, long lines. Now these are the kind of lines that people have to wait in here at the Montreal Trudeau Airport. This line right here is to drop off your baggage and also to check in for your flight. Some people say that their flights were delayed while others said they came in early because they're worried about complications. And it's not just Canada. U.S. airports are seeing similar scenes and similar problems this 4th of July weekend. I can't even get home now. I'm, I don't know how I'm going to get home. It all has some weary travelers taking precautions. This man paid extra for baggage insurance after seeing chaotic scenes at baggage claims. At least, like this, we are safe. There is no steal. There is no uh, miss of, of our baggage, that's it. And some worry this could drag out all summer long. I see no future this summer with it getting any better. And I'm hearing from many people that they may just, if they don't have plans yet, if they haven't purchased tickets yet, maybe take a second thought and wait till next summer. But if you do choose to travel, the advice is, except it may not be a smooth experience. I think that we've all cried at least at one point. And to pack your patience. Jennifer Yoon, CBC News, Montreal.